for our Woolworths Bry-Off, in the left-hand corner, we had Benny, homegrown food celebrity and successful chef, facing off against Pete, a restaurant consultant with several Bry outlets, and to adjudicate... The man who started National Bry Day, who's looking a little out of his comfort zone because today he's the judge. Jan Bry, how are you feeling? Well, it's a few days before National Bry Day, so everyone's very excited for that. We've got two of South Africa's most accomplished judges here, <laughs> and I'll be judging them. But I think all South Africans know how to bry. The question today is, how well does Benny and Pete bry? And we'll find out. <laughs> Um, Guys, uh, why are you sitting here? Exactly. We've got a competition. Hey, look, this is brying, you know, and the whole thing about brying is part of the hiss, and the first part of the brying is get the fire ready, mm -hmm. and you can do nothing while you're waiting for the fire to get the coals right, so we thought we'd sit down, have a chilled beverage, yeah. and wait till the fire's ready. What do you guys think of National Bride Day? Look, for me, it's fantastic. It's, it's, it's a great heritage thing. The one thing we have in common across the board is we all stand around the fire cooking meat. It's part of our heritage. It's who we are as South Africans. I love it. Now, one thing I have to complain about is that it's not every weekend. And, uh, yeah, it's a pity that we only have it once but a year. But, Ben, National Bride Day is the 24th of September. Every other day we can still <laughs> brine and train and prepare for National mm -hmm. Bride Day, as we're doing today. Yeah. Yes, Chef. Oh, All right, guys. Okay. <laughs> Your two hours start now. Right, let's get to let's it. Do this. Let's do what we do best. Let's uh, try some of these starter oh. snacks. You don't have to spend all day in the kitchen with the Woolies range of ready-to-serve snacks. Try marinated olives and roasted artichokes or crunchy crudite with traditional hummus. And for something a bit more sophisticated, add this trout roulade to your shopping list. Another part of our national heritage is, of course, our Big Five and Woolies have dressed us today and they've given us some t-shirts from their Rhino t-shirt range. So the sale of each t-shirt at 10 Rand will go towards Rhino conservation. So you get a nice cotton t-shirt, which mm -hmm. is perfect for brying and it's good for the rhinos. Mm -hmm. What's to lose? <laughs> One of those two contestants will be losing. <laughs> Let's go see how they're doing. <laughs> Benny, how's it going there? But everything is going according to plan. Mm -hmm. I've got my rack of lamb there, I've got my burger patties, and then I've got my mushrooms going. Mm -hmm. Are you using uh, venison on the patties? Yeah, I'm using ostrich uh, burgers, you know, more, more on the healthy side, mm -hmm. less fat. Yeah, I haven't flipped them once, so just once on each side, yep. frying the patties. The whole thing is to give it colour. So okay. if I keep on turning it too much, it's going to just go grey. And okay. fall apart. Exactly. Okay. And yeah. then what are you doing with the mushrooms? The mushrooms, I'm just browning them just like I would do with the burger buns. Is this your burger rolls, the mushrooms today? Yeah. And you're using a bright tray? Exactly. With the fire, it can be too harsh and it okay. loses water quickly and it dries out. So this is like heat control? Exactly. Yeah. You're quite technical about all of this, eh? Well, you got to be. You know, it's a competition <laughs> I want to win. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. Sorry, Ben, I heard you, in, you needed a hand. Pete. Phone, they said phone and friend. Are you call. supposed to be over there with your coal fire? I got a call that said you're in trouble, something with your fire, <laughs> something with venison burger. No, I think I'm his fire yet. is perfect. Okay. You're using charcoal. What is the story with exactly. that? Exactly. Well, the thing is, is charcoal is a little step ahead of this. I can control the heat there with charcoal. Pete, uh, you need to be yeah, over actually, there. Actually, let's go see what yeah. Pete's doing. He's talking a lot. I was, I was worried, but I'm not worried anymore. <laughs> <laughs> cool. We'll leave you to it. I'll see, I'll see you that side. I see lots of salad, Benny. I'm going healthy. Avocado pit. Mm. I'm going Pete, your meat's burning. Worry about to meet that side. For those short on time, spiced cuts and pre-marinated meat make life a breeze. Like these ribs, Pete is brying. Hey, doing how are you doing? Yeah, good so far. Just is that what we were smelling I burning? You see how you just hide it so strategically. It's, see, that's not burning, guys. It's caramelizing. It's yes. those lovely charred flavors from the bride. The distinctive of bride <laughs> flavors. Absolutely. Now, yes. the question that's up, been up for a debate for a while is, do you season your steak before or afterwards? There are two theories. One is complete nonsense. <laughs> Right? And the, and the other, other one, one is your theory. And the other one is my theory. <laughs> <laughs> and that theory is you always put salt and pepper on, you always season before the steak goes on. One of the mm -hmm. reasons is is that the detractors will tell you it draws the juices out of the steak. Okay. The piece of it does, but that's what you want. We're not talking about seasoning four hours in advance. Mm -hmm. We're talking about just before you throw it on the bride. Mm -hmm. Those juices then caramelize when the steak hits the grill. And that's where you get this lovely char from on mm -hmm. the steak there. And that's what gives it that, that sort of ultra meaty flavor that oh. really sings in your mouth. Now yeah. this is my resting plank. Okay. Mm -hmm. Probably the most important thing apart from seasoning your meat is letting it rest after you've cooked it before you serve it. Mm -hmm. And it retains all its flavor and it's nice and juicy when we cut into it. As side dishes, Benny roasted corn for a smoky salad and took store-bought mayonnaise potatoes to another level with an inventive presentation. 
Pete went for exotic mushrooms as well as a grilled pineapple and chili salsa with his free-range rump steak and ribs. While all this took shape, Jan and Simba were blissful spectators in the great Bryov. So if you look at us, eh, having a drink while we've got two world-class chefs trying to impress us. Simba, this is the life. Someone else behind the fire for change. I'm looking at it from the other side and I must say I'm enjoying it. After cooking his lamb racks whole to just pink, Benny cut them for ease of serving. His original mushroom and ostrich burgers showed his creative flair, as did the red cabbage salad rolls. But was this style over substance? For sheer taste, it was going to be hard to beat Pete's steak with melting masala butter or his ribs with that summery pineapple salsa. Here was the best natural South African produce from Woolworths, cooked by two talented chefs. Jan, they're finally done. What do you think of the presentation? It looks absolutely delicious, well mm. presented, but the real proof of the braai is in the tasting. Of course. True right. Benny, don't look so nervous. Uh, well, even I'm a contestant you, this time. So even yeah. if you come last, you'll be second. <laughs> <laughs> Benny grew up in Alexandra Township. Pete emigrated from London. Each of them made their names and careers here. Their food is the best expression of Heritage Day and what it means to be South African. But who was the winner? All right, Jan, it's now time for the verdict. Taste-wise, it's always very tough to, to beat a lamb chop. Mm. That is probably the royal cut when it comes to brying. I think Pete made a valiant effort with his masala flavored butter on the steak. Mm. Also, just a beautiful dish. And that's really the two that I want to focus on. And then it's, it, the decision becomes tough. Mm. Yeah. So can you actually make a decision? I think brying really isn't about winning. It's about participating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's say both of them won. And at the end of the day, South Africa becomes the winner. I like everybody that. loves the bride. I'll drink to that. There we go. Yeah. Well, Thank you, guys. gentlemen. Cool. Good cooking for you. And if you'd like to be our ultimate winner, don't forget to enter our 21st birthday competition. And if you win next year this time, you could be bride with a view. <laughs> Next Tuesday is Heritage Day, so wherever you are, remember to celebrate all that is good about our wonderful country, with or without Table Mountain as your backdrop.